Hi, this is a plastic part that I make for a company. I've now made them about 1,500 of these parts. And it's made to fit between two other pieces that they already have. And as you can see, it's a fairly large part. It's all plastic. And I use a mold that I've made using the techniques that I show in my How to Make Plastic Prototypes video. Now, of course, this is a very simple part. The video shows you also how to make very complex parts. Uh, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about this because there's a, a key concept here. If you're going to make a lot of parts with the same mold, or even with a series of molds, but if you're going to do a, a high volume, uh, one thing you may run into is what I ran into. it. The parts started coming out a little bit larger than originally intended, which was a problem because this part has to actually fit tightly into something else. And here, here's the actual mold, one of the molds. And it, as you can see, it's a flexible silicone mold. And the thing is, the mold will tend to flex. And the more you use it, the more tendency it has to flex. And especially where you have a, a high volume of material in here, where you have a, a wall that's not that thick, it'll tend to flex, and the part will end up being a little bit larger. Now, one solution is you could use a lot more mold-making material. If this wall were this thick, it wouldn't flex, or it would flex a lot less, but that's pretty expensive. There's actually a very simple solution, and it's called a mother mold, and I'm going to show you that right now. This is how most people handle the problem. You have four L-shaped pieces of wood. They're put around the mold, clamped together, and what they do is they maintain the shape of the mold. And just to give you a little bit more data on this, I'll, let me just pull off a couple of these clamps. And they're just L-shaped pieces of wood. These are two by fours. And they're, just, they're glued together right here, okay? But I've come up with a much better way to do this. I call it a mother mold. This is a mother mold. It's faster, it's easier, it's more precise, it takes up less space. And here's how you make one. This is a mold box. It's made out of foam core board. Very simple, very easy to make. In my video, I show you exactly how to do that. And into this mold box, we're going to put the mold. And I'm going to center it more or less so it has room all the way around it. And then this is the plug that was used to make this mold. And I'm going to go ahead and put the plug into the mold. And then we're going to pour a plaster of Paris all the way around it. So now we're going to take the mold box off. Here's the mother mold. So whenever I'm casting this mold, I'll have it inside of the mother mold. And in that way, the mold will never stretch out of place and the part will always be perfect. I hope that was useful to you. If you don't already have my video, How to Make Plastic Prototypes, I want to encourage you to get it. It goes through step by step everything you need to know to duplicate anything in plastic using silicone molds. You can find out about it at www.plasticprototypes.net. Good luck with your inventing.